everybody let's talk about dragon's dogma 2 apparently the reviews are terry bad i've quite literally just finished installing the game myself let's let's see why the reviews are so bad before i actually go in let's see poor optimization scummy microtransactions um Yes, I just booted a video. Hold up, give me a second. Let's see here. Give me a second. I need to figure out something. Why? Bro. All, All right. Oh. Quick context. People seem to be review bombing dragons. Let's see what's what's happening. Issues, but also because of some microtransaction features that weren't made clear before. For example, you cannot make a new character in this game, and do. Okay. <clears throat> yes, I am watching Asmongold, okay? So. Apparently you need to pay $2 to edit your character appearance after buying the game. Interesting. Your character appearance is on their servers, so deleting your save files from your local machine means literally nothing. Okay. Interesting. So what you're telling me is to basically don't not play uh, Dragon's Dogma with uh, online features, I believe. Scummy practices. Capcom, what the flip are you doing? All right, enough of this. Time to actually get in game. Booted the game up. Yeah, let's let's stick to English. We do be English. I sure hope this goes full screen. Um, God, yeah, this this is barely visible to me. I got two screens right now. I gotta make sure it's also decently set up for the recording itself. Um, sure. I think this is good enough. I can't see anything. Um, you may hear my kid every now and then, even though I told him to stop talking. He keeps talking. All right. Adjust until the picture in the center disappears. We have literally no volume right now. There is... Quite literally nothing happening. I need to make sure... Hold up. I need to make sure... This works on two monitors at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I think you can barely, just barely just see this on the recording itself. I think this is okay. <laughs> This should be fine. My age is uh, a good fat 28 at this point. All right. Can I please? Oh my god. I tried to grab that and pull it down. Apparently it does not support mouse. <laughs> Enable network features. This will allow you to hire pawns. Players followers. Mm, created by yeah, you know what? I'll make my own pause because if this game has so many flippin' issues with online features, why would I use any of them? No. So, why is this game not booting up in full screen? By the way, that was the first thing I noticed. This is the same thing for the character creator as well, which is the demo. Um. Why is this 720? Brother! Oh my god. See, this already tells me... This is a red flag. Why, you may ask? Well, first of all, it's 720p. Why would anybody run the game in 720p, bro? Unless this is console-specific. Console so I'm, I'm guessing the default is set for console specifically. I have, My screen is a 2K monitor, okay? It's a 2K monitor. Why would I use... Why, why? It makes no sense. Okay, my Discord just... 
everything just flipped screens. What the hell? Okay. No variable frame rate. Let's max 120. I would like 144, please, because that is my monitor. No dynamic resolution. Sure, I'll keep VSync. Um, DLSS. I do have Pure Dark's DLSS 3 enabler, but I will I will run the game without it on because I want to see how default gameplay actually works, okay? I got a 4070. I have an... I believe it's an... It, 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 I need to check. Hold up. It's been a while since I checked my specs. Uh, this, bear in mind, this is my, my newer setup. So we got an RTX 4070. We got 32 gigs of RAM DDR5. We have... An i7 13700F, which goes currently at 4.75 gigahertz. Okay, just so you so you all know, I'm not lying. This is my my setup. We got 32 gigs of DDR5, 4,400 megahertz speed. Okay, there's my my RTX 4070. Now, if this game runs poorly on this system, also I got three SSDs. If this game runs poorly on this system, Capcom, what are you doing? Though I am expecting this to run horribly, just just based on just based on the reviews alone, okay? Uh, I will turn everything up to max because if it doesn't run on max, that's bad already. It needs to run on max. It needs to run at at least 50 frames on max on this system. If it doesn't, I'm gonna cry, bro. Okay. It is it just me or does it actually look uh, worse? The more I crank this higher, <laughs> the higher I crank it, the worse it looks. Is it just me or does low actually look the best? Damn, that's crazy. Okay, I'll I'll just crank it high. Um. Okay. What is the highest? Three? Three gigs. Damn, my graphics memory is... Uh, oof. We're tanking a little bit. We're tanking. Okay. Let's see. Motion blur. Turn that shiz off. No bloom, please. I hate bloom. Bloom and motion blur are... And the uh, depth of field. These three... Uh, bloom mostly because... Most games... Fudge it up. Motion blur because I have not seen a single game since the history of gaming uh, get motion blur right, so I turn it off because it always kind of gives me motion sickness, even though I do not have motion sickness. I hate depth of field in general, so I'm not gonna use it ever. I'll keep the lens flare. Um. I'm barely seeing a fish, fish eye effect here on the lens distortion, so let's skip it, I guess. Subsurface scattering... Ah, uh, subsurface... Do we want it? Sure, I guess. And let's keep high motion quality. Alright. So, we are quite literally doing this maxed, okay? We are cranking everything up as high as possible. No DLSS, no uh, Fidelity FX Super Resolution 3. We are borderless 2K 144Hz with uh, max 120FPS VSync on. Okay. I may have to just go 120Hz. Uh, you know, let's keep it 144. Why do you give me the option to choose my refresh rate if my max frame rate is 120? That makes no sense to me. Why do they? Why do game de game devs do this? This is so bad. Also, why can't I just grab this properly? Jesus. All right, everything's cranked to max. Okay. My graphics are maxed as hell right now. I don't care about anything else other than making sure network is offline. What is data processing thing? No, don't say play data. 
If I decline here, it's probably gonna end my game, so let's accept again. I don't think I have a choice. That's kind of cringe. That's kind of cringe. You know what? Let's try. If you don't want to send them data... Okay, you can decline. Never mind. You can decline. You can, in fact, decline this. You can turn it off. You can decline at the start of the game. So I am assuming I got network features off. And with network uh, features off... Uh, first of all, I will not have access to other pawns other than what I am creating. That's pretty much what I recall from Dragon Dogma 1. Dragon's Dogma 1 had the pawn system, but... Again... If you don't use online features, I believe you cannot download others, so... I think that's the only online thing you actually care about. I, I've i seen comments saying this game's pay to win, which makes no sense to me because the game is single player. Let's start a game, let's see how the performance is. Okay, uh, let me... I need to check. Okay, I need to see... I need to see utilization of CPU and memory. Also gotta... Whoops. Alright, come on. Don't do me like this. There we go. Okay, we got a start that is very similar to Monster Hunter World. <laughs> Fevremon suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> My word, such an inspiring visage. Your Majesty shall have my eternal fealty. No Your Majesty, oh how long I have awaited this moment. the rightful inheritor of the dragon throne chosen by the dragon as its enemy behold a rejoice fortune has delivered us our savior at last, at last! praise be for only the sovereign's guidance can lead us true all hail the sovereign all hail! let all present pledge your allegiance to the sovereign let us be united in the hope that our legions reign will near end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside Naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate.
which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. Is it you? No? Hmm, it is hard to say. If the pawn I'm looking for doesn't come forward soon, there'll be trouble for the lot of you. Are you the one, then? Speak up, you good-for-nothing pawns. Which of you is it? Is it you? No? Mm, it is hard to say. Okay, uh, I just realized I've been muted for the past couple of minutes. So you, you guys have seen my GPU, CPU uh, and memory. Also SSD utilization. You're currently using 17 gigs of memory and the game says a 16 minimum, which already is not good. I would suggest you not run the game on max graphics unless you got 32 or let's say 20 something at least, okay? Especially since I'm playing on 2K. Um, sure, I'll choose her because she kind of reminds me of Cremiel in a way. I'll try to make Cremiel again. Uh, existing character data. I have. Ada Wong, I believe. Oh, yeah, this is, I tried to make myself. This is the best I could do. This looks nothing like me, by the way. It's got a couple of facial features that I guess are kind of similar to what I would look like in real life, but this looks nothing like me, so... <laughs> this is the best I could do, I'm sorry. I tried so hard. I tried so hard. You guys don't really know how I look, but trust me when I say this looks nothing like me. And I'll keep it like this. This is basically... <sighs> yeah, nah. I couldn't get the face to look any, um, any closer to what I am, so... It is what it is. <laughs> my name's Dying Cringe. I'll go with the moniker Ricardo because my real life name's Richard. I don't... not sure why it's 20. Should be 28. Also, apparently the weight is literally not how it's supposed to be. Um, I'm currently weighing 90 kilograms, as in about 200 pounds, almost. That is in real life. Um, I do actually kind of look similar to this in real life, as in my, my body proportions. So, at least they got that right, but the weight from the actual game... The weight... It's saying 74. I kind of look like this, but I'm 90. I'm just saying. So I, I couldn't get it any more accurate without botching the the, the body. I, I can't get the weight any more accurate than this. Again, I tried the face. It, it's just not going to happen. This is as close as I'm going to get. I have seen people just make crazy stuff, though. Uh... Again, the character does look similar to my to me, to my face, but at the same time, not really. But I'll go with this. I'll go with this. I, I prepared this character, so might as well. 
Okay, let's see. X, E, Control, V, F. Oh my god, what are these controls, brother? This is Final Fantasy controls all over again. Why do people not give a fl flying flick about the PC controls, bro? Like, if you're a game developer and you don't care about PC controls when you are releasing a PC game slash PC, PC port and don't care to actually make the game decent playable, okay, on said machines, <sighs> what are you doing with your life, bro? Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap is only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. Alright, uh, one thing I will let you know right now, this is probably only gonna be a first hour impression of the game. Videos more to come, probably, definitely. Uh, we are not stopping the Crimeal series, the Baldur's Gate 3 series. No, that, that does not stop. I might do Dragon's Dogma 2 on the side if the performance is really bad, but we'll see. Currently, I'm not seeing any issues, but then again, my PC is a little bit of a beast. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? <clears throat> Worry not, Vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards. Bear in mind, I'm also recording in 2K while playing this on 2K max settings with ray tracing on and no DLSS. <clears throat> I do I do need to check my settings again. Hold up. So again, system options, graphics. So we have ray tracing on. Image quality is cranked to max. It's using 8.5 8 gigs out of, well, the game says 11. But my dedicated GPU memory is 12. So anyway, I'm not sure what's up with that. It's staying. It's saying 1098, which is kind of weird to me. I'm doing word, borderless windowed in 2K, 144 hertz, maxed uh, frame rate capped to 120. This sync on, no dynamic resolution, no fidelity effect super resolution three, no DLSS, no reflex low latency. Okay. Don't touch scaling. Ambient, ambient occlusion is turned off because of ray tracing, I believe. And I'm not sure why I can't change these anymore. Not sure what's up with that. Oh, it's, it can only be changed from the title menu. That's so weird to me. Why do, why do games do this? Again, these are my settings. Everything's on except motion blur. And depth of field because I just hate those effects. Everything's cranked to max. Okay. Now if the if the performance is not good on my machine, this game has issues. If my machine runs this properly, bear in mind I am running this on Windows 11, and I have actually decently optimized this this PC. It's a Lenovo PC, pre-made. I haven't touched anything on it. Okay. This is how I ordered my computer. Other than that, the, the system is the only thing that I've actually optimized a little. So, yeah, let's see how the game runs. Let's see now. It's... It's decent. I'm pretty sure this is not 60 frames, though. I can't see that right now, but I'm pretty sure this is not 60 frames. I wish they had an option to just toggle 60. Uh, to not toggle 60, that's not what I meant. To uh, let's, let's do this. Let's do 60 hertz. Let's do 60 hertz. 60 frames. If the game can't pull 60 frames, bro. It definitely can't, can't pull what I had selected previously, but... Yeah, no, this is not 60. This this feels like it's not 60. It feels less than 60. <laughs> anyway, it's playable. But again, my, my PC is a little bit of a beast. This was... Let's see. About 2,000 euros, this computer alone. So you would have to invest at least that much to get a decent performance in 2K. For this game alone. 
That is crazy, brother. That is crazy to me. Also, I'm, I am recording in 2K, but... I'm checking OBS. Doesn't seem to be overloading. Let's talk to the Zood. Okay. Alright. Okay, we got some PC controls on screen. What is this weird though Dark Souls opening? Oh my god. I need to make sure my mouse settings are decent for the game. Hold up. I could... You know what? Let's try a PS5 controller. Sure. I got my PS5 controller here. Do I have a cable somewhere? Um... Hold up, I need to grab my my actual cable. Alright, I'm gonna put I gotta cut I'm gonna put my controller. Make sure it works. We'll see. Will the game recognize it? It it does actually. It does actually recognize it right off the bat. And why do I feel like I have better performance with the controller on instead of the mouse? That's weird. Bro, that feels so weird. It's definitely not 60, though. Um, I may have to... They said this game is a remake of the original. Or a remaster, rather. But this is not how the original game started. Because the original game started with you being on the beach fighting a dragon, dying, and uh, the dragon basically removes your heart and makes you an Arisen. Okay? That, that's what I remember from the original game. It's been a bit. But, yeah, again, this is not how the original game starts. So, why do people say this is a remaster of the original? Because this, this feels like an entire different game. Like, just literally entirely different. Okay, how do I run? Can I run? I, I injuries pain you. can't do anything right now other than walk. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we the visuals look good. I kind of dislike the flame effects, though. I'm not gonna lie. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Okay. Oh, I can run. Jog. Hmm. Yeah, okay. This feels like it's very, very much intended for controllers. Not gonna lie. You may have a jog button or a walk button for a keyboard. I'm not gonna check anymore. I, I will probably try to play this with a controller, but yeah. I may have to switch from... PS5 to... What is going on? Hello? Hold up. My controller just randomly died. There we go. Okay. Pick up a boulder? From where? Where the boulder? There are boulders here. I can't seem to be able to pick them up. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. Okay. Again, this video is going to be a first hour impression, okay? First hour. How do I grab? I can very def very obviously see this. Um, can't seem to be able to actually grab that. I'm not sure why. Okay, so I kind of have to just very specifically come here, maybe. It's kind of weird. Okay. I damn, I'm strong, boy. Um. Okay, you could have tried a little bit more with this grab animation and just holding of the boulder 
It's fine. But they could have tried a little bit more. Boulder sitting in the air. I can jump with the boulder? Why would I do that though? Anyway. What am I supposed to do with this boulder here? Confusion? I just have to put the boulder here? Did I miss something? I may have. I keep having to pay attention to my kid. What now? I'm a little bit confused as to what I'm actually supposed to be doing. I do know the, the game is supposedly asking players to, well, basically make their own adventures. And I usually kind of like that, but at the same time, at the start of the game, you might want to tell me what to do, game. <laughs> Okay, what do I do? I have grabbed a boulder. What now? I'll just put it down. Can I please? Pray, do not impede me, sir. I'm on. What am I supposed to do? Am I missing something? What? Hold up. Uh, quest list? Have the lump of stone back to Rook's side to continue your task. To who? Who is Rook? Am I expected to actually know who that is? Bro, I don't... Is this guy Rook? I don't feel safe here. A job well done. Oh. Now the next step is to... Okay. What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. Yeah, I'm sorry. My memory is going to be real bad for this game. Two. <laughs> <laughs> what is this goofy uh, running animation, bro? Okay, we are being attacked by the dragon. I assume. No, that is... Uh, Medusa? She's got a pear hanging. Why is Medusa here? The heck? <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm supposed to fight basically what's like a demigod or something? I don't recall if Medusa is a god or a demigod. J just a gorgon, okay? Let's call it a gorgon. A gorgonzola. Will you give me a sword game? Let's see. Okay, I do get a sword. How about a shield? I, I don't remember how to play. Let's see, I don't think there's a lock on. So, time to go. I'll grab. Hey! Oh, I'm on it, bros! Let's go. Okay, we can defend, apparently. need to get on top. Like, actually on top. Towards the head. Ooh, this is a little bit hard to control. Wait, it's not actually. Ooh, my stamina is kind of bad. I'm gonna fall. 
Yeah, okay. The stamina management is gonna be a pain. Let's do a blind strike. Okay, this was way too easy. Was this supposed to be this easy? I don't even know what I'm doing currently. This felt extremely easy. I know this may just be the tutorial, but still, this felt extremely easy. As in, I was not even being hit. Easy. Are you unharmed? Gundyr was harder in Dark Souls 3. You won't see while you can. He looked cool, but still. <clears throat> Who this? You have lost your memories. It is surely the work of a foul curse, but worry not. You need only believe in your own destiny, Arisa. What is this goofy running? I'm sorry, but is that how I look when I when I run in real life? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I mean, I like the game so far. <clears throat> no one could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn. Ah, good old Griffin. <clears throat> Don't just stand there, shoot it down. Bro, this this kind of looks cool as all hell. I have seen trailers, but actually playing this is uh, an all different type of beast. And right, I'll bear in mind, I don't know who this one is. I don't know why the Griffin's here. I don't know if the Griffin played a role in the original game. I've barely played anything of the original Dragon's Dogma, mostly because, I don't know, by the time I got to play it, the visuals were... not my cup of tea. But this? Mm. People are complaining about performance. So far, it may not be solid 60, but I am playing on 2K and recording 2K at the same time. And everything's on maxed, which with ray tracing as well. So, does the game have bad performance issues, or are most of your PCs just bad when playing the game? I'm gonna go with the latter. I'm gonna say, if you don't have at least way above the recommended, don't max this. At least don't max this. If you got issues... Like... My... My 4070 is, uh... Sitting on 70... 72... Uh, let's see, 70, between 72 and 74 Celsius, which is usually... How 2K gaming works. I'm getting between 65 and 90 GPU utilization. My CPU is... It went as high as 55%. And it's actually using 4.8 gigahertz. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, my SSD, however, is sitting at a whopping 2%. 2% utilization from the SSD. So unless you... This game feels like it's more GPU bound than CPU, okay? So if you got weak GPU, you may have issues. Now, I am running this currently without the hidden DLSS 3 option toggled on because there is a hidden DLSS 3 
apparently, within the game. For some reason it's, it's not turned on, and you can't turn it on, apparently. Or so I have heard. Uh, pure Torque, however, good, good mother in the Skyrim community that's been uh, making DLSS and stuff for performance for games for years. Uh, he's also the reason why the Skyrim mod lists kind of just use DLSS because Skyrim does not have DLSS natively. Also, the guy that implemented DLSS for GTA 5, so yeah. Uh, we do have the LSS3, the file, which he has shared for free, because it's a hidden option within the game. I will not use it just yet. I'll, I'll do some, some performance testing after this video, probably. And see... See if it's needed or not, for my system specifically, or if it even helps. Was it you, then? The one who was riding on its back? Is a wonder you survived. Again, keep in mind, I do not have DLSS on, and this game is running on 2K maxed settings with ray tracing on. And I'm also recording in 2K, with, I believe, around... Um... Around 40 megs for the video, which is quite a lot. That's, that's, that's quite, quite a lot. <clears throat> I will actually check my settings. Hold up. My encoding settings. So, my bitrate is in fact 40 megabytes per second. And I'm using CBR for rate control on the encoder. I do have the best quality preset with high tuning. And two-pass, multi-pass mode with high profile. Okay. I'm just saying... This game is not as poorly optimized as people say it is. Okay. Let me turn DLSS on. It, it may not hit 60 frames. But I am just going to throw a bone to Capcom and say this game is not as poorly optimized as people say it is. You got performance issues? You might as well tell me your system because I do not believe... It's their fault. I'm gonna be honest here on this one. I don't believe it's their fault. That said, I do not have uh let's see. Let's let's stick to DLSS super resolution quality preset, okay? Again, no dynamic resolution, V-Sync on 60 FPS set on uh, the frame rate. 59.95 hertz on refresh even though my monitor is 144. You know, let's 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 do this. Let's do this and 120 since I did turn on the LSS. Let's see how it feels. Okay, the feel is all I care about. I don't care if the numbers say 60, it says 20. This feels so much better now. You have no idea. Oh my god, this feels so much better. This might as well just be above 60 frames at this point. Yeah, this feels really good. This feels really good. No, th this feels better than Elden Ring. I'm not even lying at this point. This feels way better than what Elden Ring felt at launch. And for me, Elden Ring at launch was solid 60. Okay, keep that in mind. I know a lot of people had trouble with Elden Ring at launch. This feels better, like way better than what Elden Ring felt to me at launch. And again, I had 60 frames on Elden Ring. I don't usually have the performance issues people say the games have. I had the same, the same thing happen to me with uh, Cyberpunk. I played perfect 60 frames at launch. What are those? Okay, I really wish the game had a lock-on system, though, but I'm pretty sure the original had none as well. Uh, let's see. Gotta remember, this game does not have a dodge. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I am... I am used to... 
Elden Ring and Dark Souls Combat. Oh, you die if you go there. Am I being hit by something? Oh, there's a dash, but I don't think the dash helps during combat much. So seize your chance to land one the moment the enemy flinches. There are oft items to be scattered. We do have blinking strike. Let me see if I hit it like this. Okay. So that that just charges. Okay. We got an apple. An apple. Damn, that looks good. Yeah, I'm sorry, you're telling me that doesn't look above 60 frame uh waterfall to you? I don't have the frames turned on because I don't have the overlay. Do I have the overlay? I need to check. Hold up. I may have the overlay turned on and I don't even know it. Uh, no, I don't have Steam overlay on. But any anyway. <laughs> this feels good, okay? Not sure why people are complaining about the performance of the game. That, that said, I do have the online features turned off. This is a single player game. So, why would you... You don't need to download pawns, people. Make your own. I can't see. Uh. Okay. I can just throw the goblin. <laughs> Got him. Okay. Damn, this combat feels so good, bro. Oh, we level two. <laughs> Dying cringe is level two. Um, I do need to check. Again, this is the first hour, for, uh, first impression of the game. I do need to check if I can make a new character while being in, uh, well, basically what's offline mode, because network features are off. I need to check. So, for the next couple of minutes, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save and uh, return to title screen. Okay? I need to see if I can make a new save. No. That's crazy to me that that's the case. So, a single character is what you get. If you don't like your character, you can't make a new one. So that is, in fact, the case. So I'm gonna assume that even if I am in offline mode, this would still get uploaded to cloud. Or to server, apparently. And you would still use that character. And that saves... Oh my god, that's crazy. Okay, I... I thought I could make a new character with a network turned off, but apparently no. Well, this is what we get. I mean, I'm kind of playing as myself here in a way. It's fine. It's fine. I thought I could maybe make a new character if I turn the network thing off. But apparently no. That's uh, it's a big negative. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. Okay, a couple frame drops here and there. Doesn't seem to be too bad, considering 2K max settings ray tracing on and quality DLSS. No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. I feel like it looks worse on my recording on OBS than it looks on my actual screen. In game. <laughs> As in performance wise. I feel like performance is actually better than what is recorded. Which is kind of weird. Is a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Earth into this world. Yeah, again, they said it's a remaster. A lot of people say it's a remaster of the original. This is, this is not how the original started. Paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. Use existing character data to create your pawn. Yes. We do have uh, Ada Wong, so might as well just... Or... 
Uh, yeah, sure. I'll I'll just take out a Wong at this point. I don't really, <laughs> I don't really want to stay and create another character right now. But I have just summoned Ada Wong from Resident Evil. Hi. It's a darn shame that you can't transfer more than one character from uh more than one pawn from the character creator. That was the demo before the game launched. Bit of a shame. I am no exception, and my experiences in these other worlds will doubtless be of aid to you on your adventure. Tis my privilege to accompany you as your loyal pawn, and I will gladly use the knowledge I gain to guide you. Okay. Oh, be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fire. This is all beyond my ken. Oh, okay. Okay, so if... If this is how the game's meant to be played, with only a single character, instead of making multiple, then I don't mind the... Only one character, only one save type playthrough. It's very much old school, but it does seem to kind of be implemented into the story itself. Just check the dialogue. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. See? The Watchhead would know what to do. Okay. Sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I know people will complain heavily about this. But, yeah, again, this is very, very old school to me. There were games, a bunch of games that are very old, back in the 80s, that used to do this. And I liked all of them. They're good games. The questions till the watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like before then. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then was set upon by the dragon not long ago. Maybe we unlock other character slots at some point? Or other saves? Question mark? The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Okay, so touchstone to summon. Got it. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask all you wish to know. I shall answer. If it is within my power. God, I need to disable controller vibration. It's so annoying. Tell me of Paul. Nah, actually, let's. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. All right. Let's touch a rock. Tutorial logbook. Wait, I'm still... Sphinx Mother? Ronald? Leva? So even though I have... Even though I have network thing turned off, I still get to see what other people made? Because I'm pretty sure... Or are these just random generations? Uh, no. We got some level 3s in here, some level 2s in here. No level 1. That's a level 4. Leak. Robin Hood? That's you? <laughs> hmm. Alright, so. 
The way I may be playing this game is as follows. I may need another frontliner. I'm taking Arawong as my archer and then... Uh... Bro, what if I make Gandalf? Do I try to make Gandalf? I'll try to make Gandalf for uh, the wizard type. Because we need at least one mage. We need two... I feel like we need at least two ranged. And we need at least two melee. Two melee, two range sounds ideal. One has to be magic. Because you never know. We may need magic damage. And or supportive spells. Alright, I am not touching... Do I take Sphinx Mother? She is melee. Only level 2. I need something that is not broken overpowered at the start. So, I, I'm not sure how... Uh, how strong Ada is. Also, I don't know what RC is. Rift Coin? I'll just take Sphinx Mother. ...and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. Sure. I will hire you. Made by Capcom. Okay. It will be an honor to serve by your side. Okay. So I thought these were player made. Sphinx mother. Oh god. Alright. Okay, can I make new pawns? Can I make new pawns? Is there a way to, to make new pawns? Set a pawn quest, pawns in the rift, view unique pawns, official pawns and pawn rankings. Search for a pawn. If I do this, will it let me create my own? Advanced pawn search. Ah. View the pawns of Arisen with whom you main your main pawn has traveled. Interesting. Pawns in the rift. Oh. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so we got a couple of ones that are very strong, like Lucia here. I believe she may just be very cool. Yves. Yeah, just level fours. I'm not gonna touch those. I want weak people in my party that level up with me. We are currently level 2. Why would I take a level 4 pawn? Can I talk to Ada? To share it present. Obviously. Matters of import. Where ought we to go what? Now? Importance? <laughs> I have nothing further to add. Small talk? Is there all this pawn might do for you? Can I really not create new pawns myself? Is there no way to create my own pawns? Because I would rather just create my own my own pawns. Set a pawn quest. Let's see what this is. Pawn quests are tasks given to your main pawn to be completed beyond the rift. You set the task and must stipulate a reward for the reason who, who hires your main pawn to receive upon the task completion. Pawn quests provide valuable opportunities for you to obtain items and acquire pawn badges, so you should endeavor to get your pawn hired as soon as possible. When setting a reward for the reason who hires your main pawn to receive, you can either select specific items or nominate a sum of gold. Items will be removed from your inventory, gold will be subtracted from your funds. It is also possible to trade with other Arisen by setting the retrieval of items you desire as the pawn quest objective. But... What? Okay, so is there really no way to create my own pawns? Like, just make your own characters you can play with, bro. Okay, hold up. Um... Can I... Let's see. Vibration, first of all. Let's turn that off. 
Controller vibration. Turn that off. Then we go to network. We turn network on. We turn this on. Save changes. And what now? Wait, let me remove myself from here. And let me go back. Now, does anything change? Uh, yeah, a lot of changes, actually. So instantly I'm noticing new stuff. Also, a level 8. Interesting. Interesting. I I'm really hoping there is like a potion or something, or you can do something within the game to change your main appearance at some point in time, or to create your own stuff. Because this is crazy to me. You have this, this stupid good character creator, and then you can't really make use of it. This is sad. Alright. This was the first... Our first impressions of the game. Uh, Performance-wise, the game is fine, in my opinion. That said, you do need a bit of a beast of a PC to actually run it in 2K or above. And with ray tracing on. So, unless you got a 3080... Yeah, you're out of luck. I don't even know how this game would, ru would run on a 3080. But I do recommend at least a 12 gig GP, uh, GPU. Yeah. And at least a 10th gen i7. Is what I'm gonna say. At least. Also 32 gigs of RAM or at least a 20 plus. And this was the first hour first impression of uh, my Dragon's Dogma start of the game and adventure. I'll see you guys in the next video.